It's a dog eat dog world. Only the strong survive. See, this is the reason that people give up on their dream. We finna go and get into it. The reason is because you thought that it was gonna be easier than you expect. You thought that you can just jump in the game and just run and pursue your dreams and just go after it. Just get after it. And if I just keep doing it, I'm gonna be successful. It's true on certain levels. But the hard part is the consistency. And that's what people give up at. And I'm gonna tell you why people give up on the consistency because it takes longer than what you expect. When it takes longer than what people expect, that's when they give up. That's when they say, man, fuck this shit and throw it to the wolves. But you can't do that. When people get injured or hurt, that's when they give up. When they get sidetracked, that's when they give up. That's why you give up. When you get sidetracked, not focused on what... If you're not focused on what you're doing, then basically that's not what you want to do. Because if you really want to do it, can't nothing stop you. But see, when people give up, this is why people give up. You know, it's not what they hope for. You know, it, it, and then you expect it too fast. It takes a long ass time. You know why? And how I know? Because I'm still, I'm still, hey, I'm in the race too. I'm in the race. Everybody is in it. Well, not everybody. But only the strong survive. Only the strong is on one accord. Everybody successful is on one accord. And that accord is to get more. Be more successful. Be more successful than what you were yesterday. Do better than what you did yesterday. Try to accumulate more money or some, do more than what you did yesterday. If you, if you own a business or something, or you making money, you ain't getting paid by the hour, try to make a little bit more money today than what you did yesterday. But, when people, this is what makes people give up. When that next day come, you get less money. When that next day come, it goes downhill. See, people wants to go up, 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 up. But, success is like this. That's success. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down. Up, down. Everything goes up, it goes down. That's, that is success. But when people look at the shit, they think it's easy. They think all you got to do is be persistent, stay focused, and you will get there. Period. And God damn it, we successful. Bullshit. Success is trial and error. Failure, mistakes, that's how you pursue your dream. Failure, mistakes, get laughed at, people quit fucking with you. Oh, everything negative is success. Everything negative. You got to face everything negative to get to that positive point. You got to go through hell to get to heaven. That's success. That's the element of success. You got to go through hell to get to heaven. And that's why people give up. Because they can't take the heat. They walk in the kitchen thinking they can do whatever they can and they can just grind and struggle, but you got to do more than that. You got to do it with all your heart, all your fiber, all your spirit, all your soul, and even if you don't know what to do, you got to figure it out. Even if when you don't feel like it, you got to get up and do it. I mean, every day ain't going to be your best day. Of course, you're going to love what you do. Like I said at the beginning, if you don't like it, it's not what you want to do, of course you're going to have days like that. But what I meant by if you don't like it, that means like if you're constantly complaining about it, that's not what you want to do. But some days, every day ain't going to be your best day. You ain't going to wake up in the morning feeling fired up every day. I don't give a damn what nobody tell you. I don't care how much you like it. It's going to be a day that you ain't going to want to do it. Period. But, them the days that you got to get your ass up and, get, and keep it rolling. That's how you be successful. And people don't do that. I'm going to tell you just like this. If you're a person and you got a job and you don't go to work 
or your attendance is fucked up, you will not be successful that way. You will not, you are not fit to be an entrepreneur. If you if you can't go to work every day, just a nine to five, if you can't do that, that's a test, right? If you can't even do that, how could you run a business? And people think, I'm going to tell you, this is how you can successfully come up. It don't matter. Some people don't own their own business. There's a lot of people don't. A whole bunch of motherfuckers don't own their own business, but they still successful. They still is. It, I ain't saying that you got to have your own shit to be successful. You know what I'm saying? You don't. But it helps. That's what I'm striving for. It's, it plays a damn good part. A hell of a part. But... You got to crawl before you walk. You got to go through hell and hot water to get to heaven. And that's what people don't want to do. They don't want to get laughed at. They don't want to be humiliated. But that's what all it takes. You're going to get laughed at. You're going to get humiliated. You're going to get ignored. You're going to be talked about. They're gonna be like, why the fuck is he doing that? Why the fuck is she doing that? I'm going to tell you just like this. Live your life like a porn star. And what I mean by a porn star, they get naked and they fuck on camera for the whole world to see. Everybody seeing them from their ass to their appetite. Everything is on camera. And they do it and they love it. You know why? Because that's what they want to do and they want to be successful at it. I'm not saying go out there and be a porn star. I said live your life. I ain't saying go out there and fuck everybody in the world. I'm saying have the mindset and the grind like a porn star. That's what I'm saying. That's what they do. I mean, some people, who you know, can you get naked on camera? And get your little dick sucked? Or get your little tight, or get your little sardine, or get your little tight sardine hole eight? Can you do that? I doubt it. And if you do, nine times out of ten, I bet. Hey, I'm not talking to no kids. I, well, I know there's some young people on here, but I'm, I'm quite sure. Oh, y'all done did something. Y'all done had no damn business when it come, you know what I'm saying, to some shit like this. Now, I'm quite sure ain't nobody on here watching me is a damn virgin. Now, I'm quite sure y'all done did some recording y'all day. I have, god damn it. Hell yeah. And I'm going to tell you what. A lot of people that I have asked, have you ever recorded yourself? You ever recorded yourself fucking? Yeah. Where is it? It's between me and my mate. Why? Because they don't want to show it to the world. They can't do it. Like the porn stars do it. Why? Because that's just not them. But if you take that porn star mentality and pursue your dreams like that, don't care how people think about you, how people feel about you, don't care if you fail. Don't care how many scrapes in the road, because they're going to get. That's a hard ass job, I get. I don't, well, it's not a hard job, but I'm just saying, though, you know, hey, they got to do the shit for, you know what I'm saying? They probably got to. Ain't no telling how many takes they did. Hours and hours. Yeah, I can take some takes. But still, I'm just saying, just work with me here. But what I'm saying is, hey, live your life like a porn star. Don't be embarrassed about shit. And porn stars don't give a damn. They're going to get naked. They're going to do everything on camera. And hey, have somebody to bust in their face. You know why? It's a job and they're successful at it. And the nastiest ones are the most successful porn stars. Them are the nastiest porn stars are the most successful. They don't care what you think. They don't care how they do it. Simple. They don't care. They don't feel embarrassed. And if they do feel embarrassed, they're going to... I know, I, I think I seen an interview about this chick. She said that when she first started, she was a little ashamed and she was a little embarrassed. But she didn't quit. She didn't quit. She kept on sucking that thing. She kept on riding that dick. Yep. You know why? Because she wanted to be successful at it. And that's the, that's the course that you got to take to be successful. You got to go through humility, embarrassment. You got to fail. You got to go through hell, hot water to get to heaven. And that's all success is. It's hell getting to heaven. People gonna laugh at you, people gonna mock you, people gonna make fun of you, people gonna think that you this, you that, yada yada, blah blah fucking blah. I know the porn star thing probably was a bad example, 
that was the first fucking thing that come to my head. But it's, I'm not. I'm just based. I'm just trying to give you some, give you a pick of reality. That those people, them, they get butt ass naked on camera, popping dicks in their mouth and all that, on camera, for the world to see. Family, friends, everybody. Some of them got kids. You know how a child feel? Hey, you know, I couldn't be a porn star child. I really could. I mean, you know how them kids feel? They go to school. Well, their home was like, hey, that's why your mama sucked dick. You know, hey, they catch it. <laughs> they catch it. <laughs> I'll be damned. They, they catch it. <laughs> now, I'm, that's, that's, that's the prime example. If you want to be successful, you got to put yourself out there. Look like a goddamn fool for your vision. Because ain't nobody going to believe it but you. Ain't nobody going to believe it but you. And you just going to have to fail. You might get hurt through the process. You have injuries. You get sick. You have good days and bad days. You're going to get embarrassed. You're going to get tired. It's going to damn near want to fucking kill you. And that's why people don't want to do it. That's the main reason. They don't want to get embarrassed. They don't, want to see, they don't want nobody to see them fail. They don't want nobody to see them bad at something. And they don't want to get criticized. You see what I'm saying? People care so much about what other people think. If everybody in the world said fuck people. They wanted to be successful. We would have a lot more successful people in this world. If you can just put your mind to say fuck people. And really mean it. Don't care what nobody else thinks. It takes nuts. All that. I'm just telling you. You have to be alone. Some people ain't going to like it. You have to not give a fuck. Some people might want to come at you. You going to have to not give a fuck. Then y'all just going to have to clash. Can't be scared. If you want to be successful, you can't be scary. You can't be weak. You can't be timid. You have to stay disciplined, show consistency. You can't, you can't give up. You're gonna be battle tested. Everything that you don't, that you're trying to avoid, is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Everything you don't want to happen will happen. And if it don't happen, it will about to. You might slip through the cracks through certain things, but what you don't want to happen might happen or will happen. Because success is fail. You got to fail to succeed. You're going to have to step in that water and get baptized. You got to get baptized in the fire. To go ahead and come on out. And go into that stage of success. You're going to have to get baptized in hell. To make it to heaven. Or you won't be grateful. That's why it's hard. And that's why people don't want to do it. But people, what they don't know. Is the stronger. No, the harder the battle going to be the stronger your mentality and the stronger and the firmer your success is going to stay. Because if it's easy, this shit is going to leave real quick. If it's hard, it's supposed to be. So don't give up. That's why people give up. Do not give up. Because it's supposed to be. When you feel like you're going to give up, just put it in your mind, it's supposed to be this way. When life get hard, it's supposed to be like that. Anybody acting funny with you, they supposed to. You know why? There's a chapter in your life. Everything is a chapter in your life. It all boils down to chapters in your life. Each chapter is a building and a foundation to your success. Each chapter. From the time you was born, your success and your destiny was already made. It's up to you to go get it. You got the energy. You got the skill. You got the mindset. If you get all that developed and use it properly, be humble. You're going to have to be humble. It takes a lot of maturity to do that shit. To be successful, you're going to have to be humble. Learn how to shut the fuck up. Learn when to talk. Make your words mean something. And only talk when you're supposed to say something. When something needs to be said, you say it and be done. Don't blab about shit. Ain't nothing to blab about. Ain't no time for talking unless it's something that's meant to be said. Help somebody. 
Don't just talk that fly two dollar shit trying to criticize somebody. See, that's how you gonna get your ass beat. Be successful, mind your beat. You gotta stay focused. Be humble. You gotta be humble. You gotta be humble when that pressure hits you. When that pressure hits you, be humble. Remain staying grounded. Stay grounded through all that bullshit in your. You gotta learn to stay grounded. Stay grounded, discipline. Everything that's bad, you gotta face it. That's why people don't want to do it. They think it's hard. But once you break down all the small, if it's a big obstacle, if you got a big ass goal that you're trying to that you're trying to uh, conquer, a big goal, and you don't want to do it, all you gotta do, see what's big and real, what 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 seems so big, all you gotta do is just break it down into small pieces. Break your goal down into real small pieces. Once you break that goal down, it's going to be easier to accomplish. You can accomplish this task, this task, this task, this task, this task, this task, this task. And once you add them all up, your goal is damn near conquered. It might take years. It might take months. It might take weeks. But it's going to take some time. Don't shit happen overnight. Trust me, I'm grinding too. And I know it ain't going to happen overnight. I know it ain't. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. You know why? Because I got a mindset and I know what the fuck I'm made of. And I leave this world kicking and screaming before I be a fucking failure. And you should do the same thing. Get up and get off your ass and grind until you fucking fall. And when you fall, get up. You grind like it's trying to, you grind like being broke is trying to kill you. That's how you grind. Like being broke is trying to fucking murder you. You want it, don't you? I know you don't want to be broke. Do you know how it feel to be broke? It don't feel good. It don't feel good, but yet, everybody complains about it, but don't want to do nothing about it. But that's the reason right there. Why people don't want to, them the reasons that people don't want to be successful. They just want a mediocre life because they're comfortable. They don't have to do all their work. They don't have to do all their thinking. They don't have to go through all that. They don't have to go through all them obstacles just to get there. So they just rather just live a normal, mediocre life. Not me. I'm going to destroy this shit until I'm dead and gone. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be hollering at y'all. Y'all fuck with me, all right?